love working with lemurs because they're intelligent little primates that understand what's going on, but they have the most gentle, sweet nature. Uh, they're just, they're, uh, they're just gentle and sweet. They're just they're some of the best animals we've worked with. From my experiences in Madagascar, and mostly with rough lemurs, rough lemurs, shafox, and several others are found in the eastern lowland rainforest, where the area we protect, the area called Bantampana, exists. Ring-tailed lemurs are in the southern part of the island and live in a more arid area. So the lemurs have the same diversity to adapt to environments that many of the species do in North America or elsewhere. Almost everything in Madagascar is endemic, meaning it's only found there. Lemurs are only found there. There's many species of insects, many species of birds, reptiles, other mammals that are only found in Madagascar. And when we lose them, we lose them forever. We lose their evolutionary value, we lose what I think is just the ethical value of preserving things that we inherited on this earth. In my mind, it's three tiers of support. From right here at the uh, aquarium, uh, breeding and taking care of the lemurs, teaching the public, and supporting conservation in, in situ, as we say, but on the ground in Madagascar. Australia and Madagascar are similar in that the biodiversity and the uniqueness of the animals there. It's called endemism, but it just means animals found nowhere else. It's typical of island populations. I mean, Australia is a continent, but islands often have this very unique population. Madagascar is one of the largest islands in the world, and its uniqueness is about as unique as it comes, and we're losing it as we speak. So we really need the support, and we're glad to have the Tennessee Aquarium on board.